Hey guys, my name is James from gigapress.net. Today, I'll be showing you where WordPress posts and pages are stored. When you create a post or page, it becomes part of your website's permanent record by storing them inside of a database. The WordPress database is the heart of your website. It stores all the essential information needed to run your WordPress site, including posts, pages, settings, user data, and more. Think of it as a digital library where everything is neatly organized. If you want to view or access the database, simply follow these steps. Log in to your web hosting account. On most web hosts, you can do this by logging into cPanel or your host control panel. Navigate to the web interface and scroll down a bit. Look for the database section, where you'll find all databases associated with your website. Most web hosts allow you to open your database using a viewer application like this. PHP my admin. Before we go to the next step, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel to find more WordPress tutorials and reviews. After opening PHP my admin, you want to select the name of your database in the left sidebar. The primary table where the posts and pages reside is called WP underscore posts, or in my list, it's GD underscore posts. You'll then see here a list of content of your posts and pages on your WordPress site. There it is. This is where WordPress stores your posts and pages. From here, you can easily edit any of the items to manage the content or metadata of a given post or page as needed. Now, if you want to create a backup for your database, follow these steps. Inside PHP My Admin, you'll see a list of databases on the left. Here, you can choose the one associated with your WordPress site. Then export the database by clicking on the Export tab. Select the appropriate export method. You can select Quick or Custom. Then select SQL to download the SQL file containing your database backup. Finally, click on the Export button. If you want to find your theme's pages and post templates, you can use an FTP client like FileZilla or your cPanel file manager to access your site files. From your site's root directory, navigate to wp-content slash themes slash your-theme replacing your dash theme with your currently active theme. Within this directory, single.php is your single post template, while page.php is your page template. To customize it, open single.php or page.php depending on what you want to modify. You can edit them to change the layout, styling, or functionality. But take note that these files don't contain the actual content of your posts or pages, they simply format the web pages, query the database, and tell WordPress how and where the content should be displayed. After making edits, save the files. Visit your site and check out the changes affect the display of single posts or pages. If everything looks good, you're all set. For more WordPress tutorials, our free WordPress masterclass, and fast and reliable web hosting, visit gigapress.net. Thank you, and see you next time.